Hello everyone, welcome to a mod development update, in this case in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. Followers of the channel may know that I have been working on a pass-through system, which is a way that Kerbals can float through their ships freely, instead of being stuck in their seats in the IVA view. And I have come to the conclusion that we need sort of a, a compromise system, because the pass-through system alone uh, is too cumbersome to use uh, and it wouldn't make it possible to shift the Kerbals from such a ship into the stock parts because the stock parts have the IVA because the part like this if it's just pure pass-through it doesn't read that the Kerbals are in the part and so you can't just transfer the Kerbals from a part like this if there's if it's just a pass-through part into a stock part so I decided that given the difficulties in using the pass-through system to make a compromise, and the compromise is that the cockpit area, let's say up here in this case, will be standard style, regular IVA. But then there would be a hatch inside, and uh, other people have suggested this, and I've decided it's a good idea. There's a hatch inside, and then there's another compartment here that is pass-through. So then they could float around in there, get the goods, whatever they're transferring, and then if, they, if they're docked to a pass-through style system, a pass-through style station, then they can just lug the stuff out and go ahead and bring it on through. So what we see here is, uh, this is sort of the pass-through portion of it, but then up here is nothing because the cabin is there and the cabin is a separate part. Uh, the way IVAs work, the cabins are actually something completely different. And so what we're going to do is we're going to test out the system implementation with several parts that I've made. And uh, all these parts will be in a raise arrow package. I'm not releasing it yet, but I will once I get done with everything and test everything out. But um, what you see here, uh, basically you'd be able to find the parts by typing in parentheses RA parentheses because all of these have that in their name. Uh, the fact that they say non-RO there uh, strikes me as something I'll need to fix. Um, that, yeah, that's not how it's supposed to be for those. Uh, so these modules, though, would be passed through. So the ISS Columbus, Destiny, Kerbals will be able to flow through those. But uh, if you didn't want the pass through version of those modules, you can get them from my crew vessels pack uh, that I've linked uh, previously, I'll probably link it again at some point, but um, they, it is available on my GitHub if you're familiar with that. I should just link my GitHub on the video description. I'll just do that. Anyway, I'll have to see why those are non-RO. That's interesting. Uh, but anyway, the three vessels that we are going to check out to make sure that the Kerbals can actually get out of the IVA, right? There's an internal hatch, but the space is cramped. So if the hatch is placed in an incorrect way inside there. The Kerbals are gonna read, exit locked, no way out. Uh, maybe you've seen that message before, if something is blocking an exit. Uh, now, the interesting thing about these is that with the Shinkansen, the Mini Q, and the Orion 3 space plane, the cabin is actually exactly the same. They, it was designed like that. I made sure that the cabins for these, and then also the Taurus space plane, and some other things, the cabin space was always exactly the same inside there and carrying four Kerbals. Now for the Orion 3 space plane, once you get out of the cabin, uh, you've got, uh, well, we can't really see it because it's not the main part. Uh, maybe you can attach it there. We'll get to that when we get to it. All right, so first of all, let me put some Kerbals in. They are Kerbals in, and we are going to see if they can get out safely. Well, at least one can get out. There are other considerations, and once we get back into the SBH, we need to check that the center mass is in the right place. Basically, by default, I had made these vessels so that the root, the origin of the model, was where the center mass would be, roughly speaking. But, if you want to put an IVA in, you actually have to shift it so that the origin is in the IVA general location. So, the root for the Shinkansen space plane got moved from here to over here, so that the origin is moved forward by, I think it was 15 meters or something like that. Uh, so yeah, everything, the center mass and center lift need to be checked in that case. 
So, all right, let's say EVA. Okay, so Jeb did not have, uh, there's actually plenty of room here. Uh, and of course the, the colliders here still have to work. So there's a cabin up front, but if you just uh, clip in and look, there's nothing there because I didn't want the extra model. I mean, you'd have to actually have all the extra model in there otherwise. And I didn't want that. Well, he's gonna have to climb a bit. And there's the, up, 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 up. So even in gravity, uh, Jeb can get out like that. That's good. Okay, back in. Up oh, a little bit of clipping there because uh, well the colliders aren't perfect because they have to be convex colliders and that is a very concave surface. And ladder. So this is a sort of technical test. Uh, no sliding off of the ladder board. And the IVA looks like this. Um, so, oh, we can actually see the RCS ports there. That's not ideal, but uh, it is a compromised situation. We have a clock here. Um, we have the normal raster. So this will require raster prop monitor. Oh, that charge rate indicator is sort of clipping badly in there. It's tough to place these things because of the way the rotation is uh, stated. Yeah, uh, they're sort of clipping badly there. But anyway, um, you see the raster prop monitor stuff. So it'll require raster prop monitor and also ASET props. And I'll have to change how that's placed. Uh, and I'll have to get something else to cover those, obviously. Uh, we don't want anything less than stellar. Looking in here, we got switches there and other stuff. And if we go to a different view, this is the, the sand view. Okay, not too bad, except for the visible thrusters there. <laughs> uh, should somehow make that invisible. And the back. Okay, and they are floaty. The seats were designed for human size. So, <laughs> um, alas, uh, that is a compromise that has to happen. They are human sized seats. And these are Kerbals, so we have to just move them. I, I've moved them a little bit higher than they need to be, right? Because their eye point, you know, when you look at the headrest, their eye point would actually be lower. But that does give a better view out the window. So we'll just leave it be. And there's plenty of headroom. Okay, so that this one is fine. I'll add more switches and such once I figure out how to rotate stuff. The rotational thing, the issue is that the way they've sort of listed rotations in the configuration file for the props has four coordinates, which makes me think it's a quaternion. Uh, and I have no idea how to convert regular angles, Euler angles into quaternion, unless it's not a quaternion, but there's four numbers there instead of three for a rotation. So I don't know why there are four numbers and they don't correspond to the values that I would expect. So the rotations, unless they are they happen to be zero, 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 the rotations are always a little bit weird and I'll have to figure it out. But uh, yeah, uh, because inside Unity, what we see is the Euler angles and yeah, I don't know what to do with that right now. Okay, so, okay, that's fine. That's where basically we want the center mass and center lift to be. So this is configured properly. Now, the these modules, the station modules are purely pass through, so I don't need to check those. But let's take a look at the Orion 3 space plane. So what will happen is uh, the forward part, of course, has the chairs built into the IVA, but then uh, in order, but this is a passenger liner, right? Uh, the infamous, uh, let's make sure this rotation is right. The infamous Orion 3 space liner from 2001 A Space Odyssey. And since the back compartment here is passed through, you'll have to place the seats like this, or there's also a hab chair version. And these will act like command chairs. These are the ones that act like command chairs where we'll have to get in and out. So I, I won't put all 24. It can carry 24 passengers and four crew. Uh, but we'll have the four crew up there and you can see the seats for the command chairs. And let's see if they can get out properly from here.
Now, the Kerbals in the command chairs would not be able to transfer to a regular stock station, only the four in the in the forward compartment here. And this is how it looks here with the Windows 2001 a Space Odyssey style cockpit kind of thing. And But otherwise, the panels are the same and the interior is the same. It's just the forward view is different. So EVA, okay, it did not make any message. And so here, it's a sort of tighter space. And there is a way out up top, but I don't know if, well, we'd have to open the hatch anyway. Open hatches, and the hatch is up here. Okay, well, let's see, not grab. Climb, climb, oh no, he fell out. Oh, he fell out of the collider. Okay, uh, we should just use that yeah, okay. This is like what happens in some games like Star Citizen here. This is what's happened. Um, <laughs> see? See? I'm like Star Citizen. Anyway, um, <laughs> yep, yep, it's happened. But anyway, let me revert. We might have to work on the colliders there. So we won't try and have Jeb... go out by clambering climbing oh oh okay so there's there's a problematic okay climb climb okay there's a problematic collider right there all right by the way we have windows there it's a pretty it's a severe thickness there and not perfect but Okay, and here's where we put the seats. I forget. I think I made, might have mis uh, made a mistake and not put a collider on this one. Yeah, I'll need to remember to put a collider on that one. At least there's a way to get through, though. Now, this one, uh, the center of lift seems... I mean, but it doesn't have any wings on. Unlike the Shinkansen, it's not by default, you know, aerodynamic. Shinkansen has its wings built in. This doesn't, so... Um, the center mass is in broadly the right place. This has a lot of fuel back there, so... Or maybe not, actually. Well, it's, it would if we fully loaded it, but it's not loaded with fuel right now. It's empty of fuel. But uh, this is where the fuel tanks are. Um, yeah, I guess it's a toss-up where exactly the center of mass would be, but... Anyway, it is here right now, and we'll go with it. I'll have to put it together with everything else, not curly brackets. Okay, and then the recently introduced mini queue, which partly brought about this whole business. So up here we also don't have anything. If we add something, it might interfere with the cabin or IVA view, so best not to. Okay, well, I'll just EVA jab again. And drop. Okay. Uh, the, these frames are not meant to extend all the way down. They're actually hanging from the top, not hanging from the bottom. And these are the extra fuel tanks and also the ISR units. I wonder why does this texture here? Oh, because we're sitting on the ground. Uh, it's the ground texture, actually, I think. I think it's sort of clipping through. Anyway, so that's okay. Uh, I don't think we can open the hatch like that when he's there. Open hatch. Okay. And he can just walk out. And we could probably put a rover there. We don't have the engines on or anything like that, but that's how that works. And we need to see what the IBA view looks like. Too bad the Kerbals can't, like, close the hatch. Hmm. Can't activate the animations from EVA view, huh? Of course, with the Maru Q, there, there weren't so many fuel tanks initially in here. Um, can't really... Oh. Uh, yeah, you can't really grab the ladder here. Or scramble. There's no cl oh, this climb. Uh, but climbing is futile. Uh, yeah, the ladder doesn't extend low enough on this one. If I press spacebar... Did you grab? 
Okay, I think well, I I pressed space bar and he sort of jumped a little bit and was able to grab, but it's not ideal. And from in here, well, th those little window pieces just need to go. I could probably get rid of those polygons, I think. And then otherwise, it looks like that. Of course, the interior windows do not then match the look of the exterior windows necessarily. The exterior windows are actually much smaller than, I mean, they're actually uh, the size that you see there. So not a whole lot of view like that, but we might as well go with what the IB view has built in. So I'll need to, there's a lot of things to tweak here, but anyway, generally speaking, looking okay so far. As far as functionality is concerned, little colliders need to be fixed here, a little instruments need to be fixed there. So yeah, that's the idea though. Uh, tell, well, I keep using the wrong brackets. Uh, so yeah, and I need to fix this. Lots to fix actually. But um, we have some tubes as necessary if they need to be have some sort of additional adapter. And I'll look into making some of my other pass-through vessels compatible with all this. But anyway, that's what I wanted to check out. I just wanted to tell you that that was what I was working on and let me know what you think. And so it'll be a combination of systems and then that way I think it'll be more usable and I can release it like that. So uh, look forward to maybe getting this stuff soon as I work out the issues. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.